every to-do app needs this feature. It's a feature that helps you focus on one thing at a time and prevents you from getting distracted by things that are not relevant right now. It's a feature in OmniFocus, one of the most advanced task management apps out there. Let me show you how it works. It's in two parts. Here's part one. I'm looking at OmniFocus on my iPhone, but you can do this on the Mac or on your iPad as well. I'm gonna head over to the Projects tab at the bottom. So if I tap over into Projects, I can see a list of my projects and the tasks. If I tap that again, or if I tap the button at the top left, which I'll do now, what you see is this list of folders and projects that I have. I'm going to long press the work folder here. You see I have a personal folder and a work folder. I'm going to long press the work folder, and then I'm going to press Focus. And now once I press Focus, at the top it says I'm focused on my work folder. And if I head over to my forecast view, with a button on the bottom right in the, in the bottom bar as well, you'll see that I now only in the forecast view see tasks on my list for today and tomorrow and such that are in that work folder. So I'm seeing only my work tasks, right? I have an appointment today, as you can see, and I have two work tasks. If I tap the X next to focus work at the top, you're gonna see all of my tasks again. So let me tap that. Now you see all of my tasks again. In OmniFocus, I can focus not just on a folder, but also on an individual project. For example, here I have a task that is to set up a scheduling page. It's in the middle um, and it's part of a, a project over here. I'm going to long press that and then I can tap focus. And now I'm focused just on this project. All my calendar events still show, by the way, those don't get filtered out. So this is part one of the feature. Every to-do app needs this feature because it's so helpful to just be like, I do not want to see any of my personal tasks while I'm at work. But I had to manually set this up or manually enable this focus mode. That's not super convenient because if you, let's say, work normal hours, you know, five days a week, Monday through Friday, um, you don't want to have to set this up every morning. You want this to happen automatically. So how do we do that? Well, this is part two of this feature that every task manager needs. I'm going to head over to my settings app. Actually, let me unfocus first. So now we see everything again. I'm going to head over to my settings app on my iPhone. And right here near the bottom, I'm going to tap focus because there is also a thing called focus modes um, in iOS, macOS, etc. on your Apple devices. So I'll tap that. Now, if you haven't used this before, I do a video here on YouTube about focus modes on your Apple devices. So you can go ahead and watch that and then you'll understand what this is about. Um, you'll see that I have a focus called work here near the bottom. And essentially focus modes, by the way, are just customized do not disturb modes, okay? Do not disturb modes where you can re get really granular about what you do and what you don't want to see. So I'm gonna tap into my work focus mode. Now, what can I do here? Once I enable the work focus on my device, I'm going to be able to see different things. So for example, I'm going to allow notifications from some people. In this case, uh, my video editor is someone who gets to message me while I'm focused on work. Um, and I can also allow notifications from certain apps, but not from other apps. So here I've allowed OmniFocus, for example, to send me notifications while I'm in the work focus mode. That's helpful. For example, I can get a notification as a reminder that a task is due. You can also customize your lock screen on your iPhone. So I'll show you, um, and your home screen. So normally my home screen looks like this. And if I go into the focus mode work, I'll show you how that works. I'm gonna swipe in from the top right on my iPhone to bring up control center. You'll see right now I'm on do not disturb. If I tap on do not disturb, what I can do is instead of having do not disturb, I can switch into my work focus. Now I have a different home screen that has different widgets and different icons on there. That can be very helpful. Now, what I can do is go back to settings and scroll all the way to the bottom and go to where it says focus filters and then tap the add filter um, pane button. Okay, I'm gonna tap add filter. Now I can choose an app and I can set up something to happen inside that app when I turn on the work focus mode on my iPhone. So in this case, I'm gonna tap OmniFocus and set up what's called an app filter. So now what I can do is I can say, you know what, I only want to see my work folder when this work focus mode is on my on, on my iPhone or Mac or whatever, I'll tap add. Now what happens is I go into OmniFocus, I'll just go back to OmniFocus like this, and boom, at the top now it says I'm filtered by a system focus. And I set the system focus um, let me go back to projects over here, 
to be my work folder. So this is the same thing as manually in OmniFocus focusing on the work folder, but now it gets enabled automatically when I turn on the work focus mode in my phone. Now here's another cool thing we can do. We can turn on smart activation. So now my iPhone is going to guess when this needs to be activated. And if you work in an office and you go there every day, your iPhone will learn very quickly that you want this to be enabled when you get to the office. But we can also set this up manually. So I can say add schedule and I can say, for example, location, you know, when I arrive at work, I want this to be enabled. Or I can say, well, when I, uh, at a certain time, so for example, from nine to five, you know, Monday through Friday, I want this to turn on. Now, you'll see that in OmniFocus, if I just go back to OmniFocus over here, and I get out of the work focus mode, and I'll just go back to Do Not Disturb, so you can see all of my folders, you see I have a rather simple folder structure here, just personal and work folders. I do recommend that you have a more, um, not complex, but a more detailed uh, folder setup. For most people, I recommend that. My recommended setup, you can find it very easily in my OmniFocus 4 cheat sheet, which is free. There's a link to it in the video description. So go ahead and download that. And if you really want to learn how to get the most out of OmniFocus, which is a really advanced app, so you really have to learn how to set it up well. Um, if you want to have the maximum benefits of being super productive and staying organized, then you will want to enroll in my course, Organize Your Life with OmniFocus 4. The link to that is also in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you found this useful and I hope you have a great day. Ciao.